Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. Under the U.S. government's supply cutoff plan, it is no longer possible to produce qualified chips, and many semiconductor companies, including Apple, Qualcomm, and NVIDIA, are no longer able to produce chips normally. Recently, the American chip giant Intel announced a new plan. In the next 10 years, Intel will invest 200 billion US dollars in research and development funds to develop a chip with a new architecture for the production of mobile phone processors. According to the latest news released by Intel, Intel has now established its first super factory in the United States which will provide Apple and Google with processors and other components required for products such as laptops and mobile phones. In addition, Huawei will also invest 100 billion US dollars in research and development expenses in the next 10 years to develop 5G technology and build a 5G network covering major regions of the global market. From the perspective of the United States, it is indeed a very painful thing for them in the suspended confession plan, but in fact, it is only temporary, helpless, and powerless. America's tech giants have been unable to produce qualified chips. First, let's look at the technology companies currently owned by the United States. According to statistics from the United States, in 2020, in the semiconductor industry in the United States, semiconductor companies account for more than 50% of the global semiconductor market share. At the same time, some of these companies are listed companies in the United States, others are acquired through acquisitions. So, from a quantitative point of view, in the semiconductor industry, we can indeed see that the United States has become the world's largest chip producer, consumer, and exporter. But we must be aware of one problem, that is, because the United States has lagged far behind other countries in the world in the field of chip manufacturing, it has also lost a lot of discourse power in the market. Even in order to maintain their hegemonic status, they continue to suppress the development of other countries in their own fields. Therefore, we can see that whether it is Apple, Qualcomm or Nvidia, they have been unable to produce qualified chips. Take Apple as an example. Although Apple has design experience in many iPhone products, but it can't produce chips that meet the demand. So at present, it has stopped production as soon as Apple released the new mobile phone. Intel is also helpless and powerless in the supply cutoff plan of American companies. After Intel announced that they would invest $200 billion in the United States to develop 5G technology, they finally had a glimmer of hope, and their chip development can only be temporary. Qualcomm, as the leader of the chip industry, they are the most uncomfortable now, but in fact, the U.S. government does not want Qualcomm to continue to develop in the 5G field, and it depends more on whether it will have new partners to come. Replace it. NVIDIA, just after Intel announced that it will invest $200 billion U.S. dollars to develop 5G technology, NVIDIA also announced that they now have more research and development funds than five companies. And what they can and can do now is just to develop chips. As for Huawei, it is a very difficult period for Huawei now. After all, 
Everyone knows how much the U.S. government's suspended supply plan will affect itself. U.S. government, it will lead to a very serious and far-reaching impact on our country's semiconductor and chip industries and will make the chip manufacturing industry completely controlled by others. We can only be forced to accept this fact. The U.S. government, if one day they can really realize the plan of cutting off donations, then it will not only be their own suffering, but the whole world will be affected very seriously and far-reaching. U.S. government, we don't want the whole world to see such tragic and terrible things happen to us. We only hope that the U.S. government can achieve what it wants to achieve as soon as possible, so that people all over the world can live and work in peace and contentment. Huawei is increasing investment in research and development of 5G technology. In this chip crisis, Huawei's successful breakthrough is inseparable from its research and development in 5G technology. Huawei has stated that it will be self-sufficient in 5G base station chips by 2025. But this is just a slogan, and its real realization depends on whether Huawei has enough funds and technology to complete it that is, whether the chip is strong enough. The core reason why Huawei was able to break through this crisis is that it has been insisting on research and development of 5G technology. Summary, the United States prohibits all domestic companies from cooperating with Huawei because only cooperation can ensure that American companies are sufficiently competitive in the international market. But in fact, they have always wanted to use the cutoff plan to suppress other countries and Chinese companies, so as to achieve the purpose of making Chinese companies stronger. But the Americans would not have thought that after using the supply cutoff plan to suppress Chinese companies, they actually pushed themselves into a desperate situation. For example, not long ago they announced the banning of many Chinese software companies. Thank you for your watching. Please do not remember to subscribe our channel and like the videos.